Welcome back to OBTV, the place for news, reviews and trends from the promotional merchandise industry. This week we're joined by David Kirshner from Impressions Europe. Hello. David's been in the industry for quite a long time and this year he was voted Personality of the Year not just once but twice. And David, it's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here, genuinely. Um, without further ado, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Impression Europe and about your time in the promotional merchandise sure. industry. I'll keep it very short and sweet. Basically, you've had the pleasure of 20 years in the trade. Wow. And as you know, we go back uh, quite a way we do. Uh, over that time. I work for a brilliant company called Impression Europe. And uh, that's we're going to be focusing just a little bit on, on uh, what we do today. Just one of the uh, ranges that we've taken on, although we have a, a very broad range of products and big stocks. Uh, we're going to cover confectionery today Excellent. because I just thought it would be something that would be appropriate and, uh, and very interesting as well. Something to uh, keep this figure looking nice and trim and uh, as slim as it is. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, just for everyone else out there, Impression Europe um, uh, have a, a huge range. They're a generalist within the promotional merchandise industry. Um, for for the marketeers out there, um, that's someone that actually supplies everything from a, a branded pen through to um, tech, toys, confectionery, clothing, um, and everything in between. Um, so uh, a supplier like Impression Europe is somewhere where you can go and actually get you a range of products, huge stocks, and um, a, a, a great support to us as well um, across Europe. Thank you very much for being here. Um, as I say, personality is here twice, uh, twice in a year. I um, look to that now. You, you, you certainly have. Um, people are going to be expecting big, big things. So obviously, you've decided to, to, to talk to us today about confectionery. Sure. Um, confectionery in the in the in the UK, uh, European, and worldwide uh, promotional merchandise industry is is a huge thing. We all like to eat. Um, and we all like to eat chocolate mm. or something that's sweet. Um, when you receive something that's chocolatey or sweet, generally it's a thank you or um, generally you get the, 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 the reaction that you want, which is, oh, that's nice, wow, where did that come from? So uh, let's, let's talk about your products. Fantastic. What, what, well, what, you, what you got, David? I'd like to just talk uh, just for two seconds about the market because okay. it's actually quite interesting. We're a very, very sweet tooth nation actually in the UK. Uh, they reckon that the industry itself is worth about 4.2, 4.3 billion wow. in the UK on chocolate alone. Wow. And they say that 9 out of 10 people in the UK... I reckon that's just me eating that 4.3 billion, to be fair. <laughs> they I reckon, know you couldn't tell. They reckon that 9 out of 10 people in the UK eat chocolate once a week. And they reckon that 30% of that figure eat it four times minimum a week so we've got a very sweet tooth as a nation and it's something that you know I feel isn't necessarily pushed as much and it's an area of our business uh, that we're, we're seeing tremendous results with and is growing and growing so what do you a, put it what do you put that down to and I know you say you know uh, confectionery uh, is, is used that much but from a, from a promotional point of view why, why do you think that is I think first of all because the trends have changed okay. I think there's uh, when you look at the target market out there there's a lot more women work in the industry now I mean certainly I would say 70% of the people I see every day are female right. from key de right up to the key decision makers and business owners okay. you've got a much younger target audience as well the next generation that's coming through so of course they're also very sweet toothed and uh, I think as a nation there's a lot more product being sold and shoved in people's faces and I think this is something that, you know, bodes very, very well for us. Okay. And I think for Impression Europe, the other thing as well, and the reason that we've got involved in it, is that we've seen that, you know, in terms of being able to supply this kind of product range, if, if you do it well, people are really, really keen to take it on board and use it as a proper kind of marketing mechanism. And it's really, really good to get your name in front of people that way right. with a product that admittedly they'll use it quicker but you get this tremendous subliminal advert in people's faces associated with a really pleasant quality product as well. Excellent. So that's a bit of an <coughs> overview. I mean, the first thing I'd probably like to talk about is, is the advents. Now, Good time one, of year for advent calendars. Absolutely. It's probably not the, the best time now to be placing okay, last-minute orders. Time, uh, because it's it's Well, sometimes it can be uh, pretty busy on the run-up to Christmas because, of course, in the UK, advents are associated with Christmas. However, the reason I brought advent calendars in is first of all, the, the product we supply, the chocolate itself, is Belgian chocolate, 35, 36% cocoa, which we know is a, a very decent standard. I'm gonna let you have a little sample That's the chocolate, chocolate cocoa rather than the Colombian cocoa, just before we absolutely. go any further. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> chocolate cocoa. The, the, um, 
the key thing uh, as far as uh, this particular product is concerned and the reason I wanted to bring this in is because a lot of people don't realise but in Europe this product sells all year round. It's not just a Christmas product, right, okay. it's used as a countdown item. Yeah. So essentially if you've got nice. organisations that are using uh, or promoting uh, a new product, they have a, a sales a conference, an exhibition, anything like that, even on the domestic side, you know, if somebody's actually counting down to a wedding or a, a, a social event, they're right. a brilliant, brilliant product and not a lot of people think about them in the UK right. for that. And I think this is one of the things I wanted to try and do is just sow a few little ideas, yeah. you know, and I think that's... Uh, that hopefully is something that might resonate with a few of the lovely people going to be watching this yeah. as well. No, great idea. I, you know, again, <clears throat> I, I would I would automatically assume um, that uh, advent calendars would be a, a Christmas gift, but now you say it, you know, um, as a, as a countdown item, uh, what a great idea. You know, it's um, especially packing you know, because obviously you see an advent calendar, you see a Christmas tree. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's say, for instance, you you have got an event and you want that person to to count down to an event you know it, it, it's a great way of getting there absolutely and, so. and i presume that's a blank canvas by the way that's a blank box right. you can have whatever you want on there so inside um Open it, please. inside each uh window um you got a little piece of chocolate lovely little piece of chocolate mm, nice um are you able to actually Brand on the inside? <laughs> uh, the answer at this moment is no. What we're doing is we're selling standard off the shelf uh, product at this moment in time, and the main personalization that we're considering is, uh, and we're prepared to offer, is this external decoration. Yep. And of course, that can be anything that people want it to be. I mean, it's, it literally is a blank canvas. Um, Rose, do you like it that much? <laughs> hey, that's really, really good. I can see that won't last 31 days on camera with you, actually, Andy. Well, well, the reason I say it, excuse me, is um, it would, you know, going back to that countdown idea, it'd be great if you know halfway through the countdown it says you know fifteen days to go till you know, whatever the event is. You know, have you booked your hotel? Have you registered? Um, have have you have you planned? You know, that's 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 what I can see the the marketers out there saying yeah. that's what we want. Absolutely. Great thing about Impression Europe is um, they'll take that sort of feedback on board. Um, yeah, I think the thing is, as, as this evolves, and you have to bear in mind, this product hasn't been sold particularly well in the UK. No, I think that's no, the I'm, bottom line. Yep. And people haven't wanted to expose their customers quite rightly to a product that hasn't been serviced impeccably in the way that it needs to be done. Yep. And I think as this business grows, I think we'll become a little bit more... Um, uh, pioneering in terms of what we actually offer but we want to start as we mean to go on and build it from a solid foundation um, so so that's basically the first uh, area that I wanted to cover cool. the next area that I wanted to cover and I'd like you to try this as well is, are the Neapolitan chocolates seriously do you do wonder how I keep this spelt figure that I've got <laughs> I don't <laughs> It's called bribery, Andy. <laughs> and the key thing about the Neapolitans is I want to actually introduce them to Sorry. an assortment, an array of items that I've got here. First of all, again, it's Belgian is this, chocolate. Is this dark chocolate? Yeah, we do a dark chocolate, we do a milk chocolate. Open like, them all. I don't like dark uh, chocolate. Go on a voyage of discovery. Do you like the dark chocolate? Not that bothered, actually, about it, to be quite honest. Do I look like I need <laughs> some Mr. Thor? So this is the same company that does the advents for us. Mm. And See, the key thing... To be fair, I prefer that to the... That was a bit more sweeter. Uh-huh. Mm. Well, this is a, a traditionally really nice. accepted product as a Neapolitan chocolate. And uh, the key thing about this, and quotes are absolutely welcome if anybody wants to make any inquiries, uh, but this is a really, really superbly priced mm. product for the UK market. This right. is quality stuff for not a lot of money. And the, the reason I wanted to kind of expand on this Neapolitan theme is that we've got a few other products as well uh, based around this kind of item which is an acetate case oh, display nice. case now the thing about this is that you can actually have 16 individual logos wow. if you want so if you had a for instance a company with a big product portfolio yep. and they wanted to show individual items or if you had uh, for instance uh, a high profile blue chip business that had 16 subsidiary companies say they're in gas and motor uh, automotive sales and that kind of thing again it's a brilliant little product to actually showcase who you are and what you do right and we've also got this little product, again, based on the fact that people can treat this as a blank canvas. Yep. So you've actually got this as a fully custom customizable outside cover. Yep. And again, something that can be replicated inside. Uh, and again, featuring the same really, really nice Neapolitan chocolates. So again, again, we, we spoke about this with pens um, last week as, as far as 
um, uh, full color branding um, from Sourcing City Marketplace. We, we looked at the trends from the leaders, leading industry experts who said what they thought 2017 would be about. And full color uh, imagery was very much um, uh, uh, the, the forefront of what, what they were saying. This takes it again, that, that, that it goes to show the promotional merchandise industry isn't as far back as people think, that actually we are looking at how marketeers want to get their message across. Mm -hmm. So here you've got obviously something that's got you know full color front and back as a cover and then inside um, you've got um, eight different options here 16 on this but each one of these can be individually wrapped um, and that's great because if you've got a multiple multiple message if you've got full color branding that message can actually come to life um, and then once it comes to life look at that um, you know once you get to keep this um, Take it home to the kids, keep it in the office. I think you know. also, Andy, with that, you know, when you look at a lot of companies that also work in a competitive environment, one of the key things that's actually important about that product, with the advent of QR codes now, uh, memorable phone numbers, tariffs, there's a lot of uh, possible space there uh, that you can use to, hopefully, in a reasonably robust packaging, where mm. people actually retain it and keep the phone numbers or whatever information you have to hand. And it's something that people can use. I mean, how many times do people say in the industry, what have you got this new? The whole idea behind that, effectively, is not necessarily weird, wacky and wonderful, no. but this is something that essentially showcases and carries that in front of people as a well, subliminal way. Unless your name's DT and you think tech's the only thing that's out there and the only thing that's uh, uh, pioneering. And that has its place. <laughs> it's good. I, I agree. So could you actually also um, brand the inside cover as well? I think the honest answer is if people want something, if they ask the question, we'll, we'll, we will endeavour to do what's required if possible. And if not, we'll be honest and, and let them know. Okay, cool. Lovely. Brilliant product, I love that. Tastes it's nice. Really, really nice, really, really nice. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And again, I would invite anyone out there that um, wants to try uh, David's chocolate um, to, to, to get in touch. Pleasure. You know, we'll, we'll send out samples and, and, and get those in front of people. Um, I'd, I'm not here just to um, just to put a smile on, on my face. That's really nice chocolate, really nice. So Absolutely, I and mean, you know, I've got a, We've got a lot of confidence in this product mm. range because it's massive selling in Europe already. It's just that people needed to have the confidence in the supplier and we believe that people should be able to trust us. We've, we've built a, a pretty good reputation like outstanding branding in, in our field. Brilliant. So what else have you got, David? Well, I've got a really interesting little product here, uh, which is based on a drink of hot chocolate. So, you know, if we take the premise of, of, of looking at how popular Starbucks and Costa mm. and all the other drinks, Nero Coffee, etc., when you actually look at what they sell, if you were to ask them, and it'd be an interesting uh, response, I reckon, if you were to say, what proportion of, of people drink hot chocolate? You know, I suspect it would be quite a lot of children and, and uh, ladies, uh, because of course they're quite fond of my wife and grandchildren or anything to go by there. They're pretty fond of hot chocolate. And the beauty of this particular product is that what you have is like a little oxotype cube, which is one drink, which you actually melt into heated milk, uh, and there's three drinks in each carton. You can say about heated milk. Wow, that's amazing. Here's one I've made earlier. The magic of television. The magic of television. Well, put it to the acid test then. So yeah, you put in some heated milk. It melts. You get a beautiful uh, hot chocolate drink. Yeah. There's three drinks in each case. Yeah. Uh, and the beauty of this particular external carton is the fact that it can be personalised, fully customised, full colour. Wow. And it's a tremendous price as well. So That's you get, you get three, three, three little uh, get sachets three. in there. Absolutely. And the beauty is actually, you mentioned the word sachet, Andy, but you know, funny oh. enough, <laughs> this is one of the first items I've ever seen, and I stay in a lot of hotels yeah. that doesn't come in a sachet. Even Souchard, Lint, Cadbury's, they all come in sachets. But this is a brilliant, brilliant product. Yeah. Um, and it's a really, really classy looking item as well. It's got a fabulous perceived value. Yeah. As I said, it's fully customizable and it's the kind of product that people are going to take home with them. Yeah. Definitely. And you're right, it's not a sachet. It is, it is a, a, a more of a stronger feeling product. Most definitely. Um, let's, uh, let's give that a stir around. It doesn't take long to, to, to uh, get to where it needs to be. Looks like I'm on uh, product testing today. Wow, hot chocolate, hot chocolate that quick. Nice quality drink. 
not as nice as the wine I've been drinking, but uh -huh. to be fair, that, no, that's brilliant. It's not a fair comparison. No, it's not. And but as, we, as we were discussing, amazing. the key thing about this, as a vehicle, a marketing mechanism to get in front of your customers, this is a product that you can easily buy and use it under a pound for reasonable quantities. Mm. Um, and even on small levels, it's not particularly expensive. And again, as we are talking um, before, you know, something like this, you know, uh, marketeers or uh, event-driven marketeers, are always looking for a a room drop that's different, something new. Um, and as we've said, it's very rare that you can actually, you know, room drops are generally um, slippers, a, a robe, a t-shirt, um, maybe some, some confectionery, but actually something in your room that enables you with full color branding. Um, that you won't consume in the room, you'll take home. You'll actually it. take home because it, it actually does feel like a, a really quality product. And you say under a pound for, for thousand pieces well i mean once you actually start getting into you know somewhere between a thousand and three thousand pieces as a as a scatter product yeah marketing product you certainly we should be able to get under a pound that's lovely and also again you know something that um when people go to events something that that marketers always ask us is something that's that can be be transported mm -hmm. um that can be put doesn't have to be in the case it can be put in your hand luggage absolutely um, yeah, and you're not going to drink all three drinks in one go no. so you've got that subliminal advert in your house it's it's, it's a brilliant product Lovely. really really different and look at that yeah now we've got proper proper dark hot chocolate drink gets better with age it's lovely honestly I, I, again I, I david will send out um, uh, samples Get in touch and, and and try it yourself. You know, don't don't take my word for it. Um, I've got a vested interest in selling these, but um, you haven't. Try it. Fantastic. Uh, what else we got? Okay, the final kind of little rundown because obviously I know that time is of the essence for particularly for the people who are taking uh, valuable time to watch us. I, I just wanted to cover two little confectionery items mm -hmm. as well based away from chocolate. The first thing I wanted to cover is probably one of the biggest selling mints that we actually do, yep. what we call the clipped in. Comes in a ginormous range of colours. Uh, and basically the whole idea behind that is that is is that it should basically work as an open and closed lock box. And that's probably that again, to be honest with you, uh, uh, other than the mints, what a lovely sound. If you've got stress, sit at your desk Better than a, cheaper than a stress ball. Cheaper than a stress ball. Easier um, to print. Easier to print. Um, and taste nicer. And and you can probably up upset some of your colleagues as well by using this. European mints, really good quality. All the certification, by the way, because we didn't mention it yes, from the outside. No, we didn't. Anything that's going to be ingested or digested has to have the absolute Tell me you've got them before top level I've, certification. I've just gone through a lot of your products. No issue in any way, shape or form. These these are top top selling products. <laughs> that could be because I actually added an extra ingredient. <laughs> I'm not that good an actor, don't I? <laughs> so that because mints again are a big business and that's a, a very large side. In fact, that was the key side that we grew our confectionery uh, business on initially. And the final thing I want to show you is this particular product. And you have to take. And it's a shame actually you've just tasted a mint Andy. This is uh, this is a, a fantastic product. This is a product we've uh, registered as a trade name atoms. Mm -hmm. Fantastic price, fantastic taste. They come in ten different fruit flavors. You can mix any two fruit flavors colors together. And as I say, there's ten of them. There's two additional mint flavors, and it's the price. The price is phenomenally good on them. Are they hard or soft? Uh, they're, they're crunchy, but but taste them and see what you think out of them. Just out of interest, they've got a real lovely texture to them when you crunch them, and the the flavor is so powerful, delicious. It's like I've got a good dentist. That's 16 gram. We do them in three different sizes. We do a 16 gram, a 29 gram, and a 48 gram. But the 16 gram, I think, is going to be pretty good. You have a full colour label on here, uh, which uh, uh, also you can have a website on the top, and of course, all your ingredients fully legible uh, on the back as well. And uh, we, we're going to do phenomenal with that. That's an exclusive product to our company as well. And again, joking aside, the actual flavour and taste, um, something that when we sell and supply um, confectionery, specifically uh, mints or um, this type of product, it's all about the flavour. Because obviously the person you're giving it to um, will, will will know what that means. And that, that's really powerful, really powerful. And the beauty of this, again, as, a, as a, a scatter product to keep your name in front of people in a very meaningful way, this is a product that, that your customers are only going to be paying around the you know the fifties and sixty p's for re 
for not particularly big quantities. No. Uh, it's and and it's something that I can tell you not anecdotally. This is the absolute truth. In the nine weeks I've been presenting this product, yep. seven out of ten people I give that to empty the canister in under five minutes. Yep. You've actually done it the fastest <laughs> of any customer. <laughs> Genuinely, nobody's ever emptied a canister in one go. That is a record. I think we should put that. Uh, you know, I think we should put that somewhere up in lights. To be honest with you, I don't get uh, uh, many records or many, uh, um, unlike yourself, you know, two times personality here. I don't get many uh, records like that, so I'll take that. Um, That's it. David, brilliant. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming in. Um, you. I think it just goes to show confectionery is a huge part of the marketing mix. I know you keep hearing this because promotional merchandise does actually, um, uh, has a value. Uh, it, it actually probably... Well, the BPMA stats show that the ROI on promotional merchandise is greater than other forms of advertising. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll put up some stats for you to see. But confectionery is a, is a great one. You know, confectionery is one that makes people smile. Um, done in the right way, with the right compliance and CSR behind it. You know, confectionery has to be done in in labs. It has to be held in the right way. It has to be packaged. It has to have ingredients. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a considerable. Um, proposition but it has to be done right um the flavors and, and and the tasting this is why i wanted you to see my reaction um it's been phenomenal you know it's, it's lovely where do you see I, I you know i ask this question all the time where do you see the confectionery range going and the evolution of 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 because we're not talking just chocolate you know chocolate's one one area you know things like this which actually does make you go, wow you know and in the promotional merchandise industry, everyone wants a wow factor. Everyone wants something that's new, different, and creates that wow. That actually created the wow. Where do you see confectionery going? I think the key thing about it, from some of the stuff that I've actually read, uh, particularly when we're talking about this four billion sales for chocolate, etc., yeah. uh, for the UK market, and I think the worldwide market, I think, is worth about ninety billion. Uh, it's it's gi a ginormous yeah. market. It, it actually took a slight dip. Uh, because of the sugar concerns yes. and I think now you're getting a lot more sugar free related and I can see the market diversifying right. that way so that people can avoid the taxes that they're going to have to pay for silly sugar content but nonetheless I think on that min the same Mintel information that I, I read on the last report what they were saying is that by 2019 uh, or 2018 I think one of uh, one of those years I think it, they, they said that the market in the UK uh, should be around about 7 billion. So they're expecting very, wow. very, well, stratospheric exponential growth, <laughs> really. So I think the key factor of the matter is, it's about promoting a product. It's about leaving a residue in the nicest possible way where people remember it. And it's about aiming at a target market that wants the product. And if nine out of 10 people in the UK eat chocolate, you've got a pretty strong target market to aim at there. That's, that's what I see based purely on the figures that the confectionery uh, industry has thrown up. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, just goes to show, um, if you've not considered confectionery as part of your, your next campaign, you've got to. Something that we've said throughout this is, like, like a lot of things, but specifically confectionery, try it. You know, get in touch. Um, give us some of your feedback. You know, we, we'll get David back if you're not happy with the chocolate. If you don't have the, 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 the same response I did, you know, if your chocolate didn't go nice and uh, chocolatey like, like it did for me, um, but get in touch, get some samples, try it, and then actually you might consider it for the next campaign. Uh, David, uh, you know, it's a pleasure. You know how much I love you, big boy. Thanks um, very much. You know, as I say, two times, two times personality year. We're privileged to have you. Um, we know how passionate you are about promotional merchandise. Like you. Thank you very, very much. Very much. I really appreciate the platform. Uh, and uh, many thanks for your valuable time as well. It's appreciated. Lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs>